Hello, Russ of Aquarium X Pets here. A few months ago, I got a colony of Bononi's Sei from Kyle Candelian over at Roach Crossing. I'm pleased to announce that my colony is now reproducing. Let me show you some of the juveniles, and then we'll break out the macro lens and get a closer look. Here is an adult, and here are some of the newest juveniles that I've found. One of several reasons that I wanted to keep this species is that they can successfully be kept communally. As you may know, many of the arachnids kept as pets do much better when kept singly, and this species is one of the exceptions to that rule. As long as they're well fed, you can keep Vononisei of all ages and sizes together. Here are some larger juveniles. I think these are a few weeks old. They're probably double the size of the first juveniles that I showed you. I wanted to return to the topic of feeding for a moment, as the feeding habits of Vononisei are another interesting aspect of the ecology of this species. Many arachnids are hunters, preying mostly on other arthropods, other types of vertebrates, or in some cases, even small vertebrates. A good number of them will take dead prey items as well as live prey items. Vononisei will hunt small arthropods like springtails and fruit flies, but will also accept a wide variety of food items that many arachnids would not, such as fish food pellets, bits of carrot or apple, dried mealworms, and even dry dog food. Before I show you some macro footage of these adult and juvenile harvestmen, I'd like to take a moment to thank my patrons. There are lots of ways to benefit my channel, at least one of which you're doing right now just by watching. Another excellent way to offer your support is to become a patron. For as little as one US dollar a month, which works out to approximately 3.3 cents a day, you can help me do what I love, which is provide you with information on the fascinating creatures with which we share planet Earth. If you enjoy learning from Aquarimax Pets and you'd like to become a patron, please visit the link that I'll put at the end of this video and in the description, or just go to patreon.com and search for Aquarimax. And now, let's take a look at some of the macro footage of these creatures. Though they make me think of aliens every time I look at them, of course, they're earthlings, just like us. More specifically, Venones is a genus of arachnids in the order Opiliones, or harvestmen. The familiar daddy longlegs is a member of the same order, but Venones is a completely different suborder. Members of the genus Venones seem to use their first pair of legs mainly as sensory organs rather than for walking. Legs with this function are known as antenniform legs. If this sounds familiar, you may already have seen my videos on amblypigids and vinegaroons, both of which also have antenniform legs. If you haven't seen any of those videos, you can check one out right up there. Note that the juveniles are both more rotund and more glossy than the adults. And if you're into arachnids, you'll probably agree that they're kind of cute. If you're not into arachnids, I'm genuinely surprised that you're still watching this video, but I'm glad that you are. What do you think? Are the juvenile harvestmen cute? Let me know down in the comments. And thanks for joining me today. I post videos every Friday with live streams on Tuesdays or Wednesdays, all on aquarium and vivarium pets with lots of arthropod content. Please feel free to share, like, comment, and if you haven't already, subscribe. And then tap the bell for all notifications so you don't miss my next video. Ooh. I'm not sure exactly what was happening with the pedipops there, but that was cool.